Hey, Blue Eagles. I'm Taylor. I'm Natalie. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the first episode ever of The Squawk. Yeah! <laughs> There's a lot of new things going on at Clover High this year. Definitely. We've got a new building, new parking lot arrangement. We have new sports, new people, and new classes. Speaking of new classes, here's Ian Latham and Miss Edmonds' dance class. Clover High, you want to break it down, but you ain't got new moves? Well, now there's a class for that. For the past 20 years, Miss Edmonds has been in the district teaching kids to do just that, but never at a high school level. However, she seems to be getting things off on the right foot. The kids have been great, the classes are great, they're working hard, so I'm excited about it. I'm really excited. Slowly, they've uh, had added interest to have it moved to the high school, so we did. Uh, Dr. Sosny was very supportive of it and um, has taken several years in the planning process, but it is here. So. However, if you've never danced before, don't be discouraged. Many people coming in the class don't have prior experience like Naomi. Hey, I'm Naomi. Naomi's a homie. But Naomi still learns some new things. Okay, okay. Here you go. It's called Titan. Learn that. If you're open-minded enough, the Zen can teach you anything. Even the most net people will be alright. The students are extremely cooperative. They're, they're um, trying anything that I ask them to try. They've not given up physically or mentally or even we've done some creative sessions they're right there with me people come in to dance can expect to learn all new styles and techniques Miss Emma will make sure of that modern and jazz will be the basis with choreography and improvisation part of the class too but you still need a good attitude make sure you're like really outgoing if you like to talk and dances will be like a really good class for you and just be like prepared to move and do stuff that you haven't tried before Feeling too manly for this class? Yeah, it must be hard being one of three guys in a class of 20-something girls. For guys, you won't be the only guy in there, probably. Don't take my word for it. Check out Ms. Inman's class for yourself. Thanks, Ian. I wish I could shake my tail feather like that. Yeah, Clover High sure has a lot of new things this year. Something that's always changing is the things people wear. Yeah, how about we go check out some fashion? All right, I'm here today with senior Sammy Pantusco, and today she's got a relaxed, sporty look. Describe your style, Sammy. <laughs> well, um, I've always been the type to sort of try different outfits. I like sometimes to dress up some, and sometimes I like to be casual. I like to mix it up a little bit. It seems like this year I've been dressing a little bit more casual lately because I'm a senior. I've had you four. You just don't care, right? I don't. I've had four years, three technically. This is my fourth year of just you know trying to dress to impress and trying so hard every day. And this year, I'm just like, hey, I want to be a little casual sometimes. And you know, hey, you don't need to impress anyone. It's your last year, right? Yeah, totally. I didn't need to impress anyone, Natalie. I got, I got you. I got you know. It doesn't really matter. It's like, hey, if if you don't like my outfits, like casual, then like, why should you? Why should I let you see my cute outfits? I know. If you can't like, handle my worst, you're not getting my best, right? <laughs> this year, Clover High School has made a lot of changes to the dress code. I'm here with senior Harley Miller. Harley, what do you feel about the dress code this year? Um, I feel like it's a lot better than it used to be because. Honestly, nobody makes shorts that come down to your knees or dresses that comes down to your knees before. Yeah, it's like, not conventional to what people are wearing today. Yes, nobody wears their stuff down to here anymore. And so it's like not too short, it's not too long, it's like the perfect, and I can buy so many more clothes with it. <laughs> and what what things do you like to wear? Like, there's a lot of new trends this year. Um, I like animal print a lot. I'm like obsessed with cheetah print. And... Um, I really like belts. Big fan of belts. Yeah. Cheetah print's always been around. It's always kind of been in fashion. It's never really going to go out of style. Mm -hmm. But I've noticed a lot of girls are wearing like high waisted shorts, like baggy, like <laughs> safari looking clothes. More girls are dressing like the bohemian style. All right, thank you, Harley. That was great, guys. And now to Brooklyn Forge about the deadline. The Deli Line, the love sandwich dispensary of Clover, had many fans. Let's look behind. I love the sub sandwiches. When I ate in the cafeteria, I always ate at the Deli Line myself. But sadly, the Deli Line suddenly vanished. 
The school tell us, tells us to eat healthy and everything, and then they start to take away the healthiest thing we have, and it's the best tasting food, the highest quality. But nobody knew why, not even our lovely lunch ladies. Well, all we were told was it was government regulations. According to Mr. Fisher, when I had the conversation with him after the deli line was gone, we were exceeding the limits in protein and bread in the deli line. Therefore, it didn't meet the requisites of a reimbursable meal. But you, the student body of Clover, stepped into action. I will not stand for this. Save the deli! I was very proud of the students for standing up for what you believe in and doing the petitions and you know the beautiful posters right away that the instant reaction of we want that. How many signatures do you have so far? So far we have 645 but we probably actually have more. And it all paid off. So the good news is those of you that, that signed that petition and, and made your voices heard um, I was able to share that with Mr. Fisher and I think he's got a plan to be able to re-implement that line um, in the near future. Okay, so you don't know if it'll be this year or in the upcoming year? It years? will be this school year, this okay? Year. Um, I cannot tell you whether or not it will be before we break for, for Christmas, um, but I certainly anticipate at the latest that for second semester we'll have the deadline run back. The deadline will return again. That was some good stuff. Now to Kelsey Foster, who's covering our new addition to the Blue Eagles cheerleading team. Most guys wouldn't think of cheerleading for their school, but Tyler Van Dyke isn't like most guys. He took on the challenge of trying out for the Clover High School cheerleading team, and now that he's made it, the challenge has been taken to the next level. Cheerleading is not easy as I thought it was going to be. It's a lot of work, a lot of after school hours, a lot of going to tumbling, a lot of working out, a lot of running, a lot of endurance. So it is not as easy as I thought it was. It was not as just wave your pom-poms and megaphone up and down on Friday nights. For the past three years, Tyler's been involved in FCA, Corlears, and also a manager for a few sports at the school. So you may wonder why he chose shooting on his final year. Um, well, I wanted to try something different, you know, have a YOLO moment, <laughs> but I also <laughs> wanted to, you know, be different and not do the usual play football, basketball kind of thing, and so I wanted to try cheerleading. Although some might think that having a guy on the team might take time and a lot of adjusting, Lee Austin, head coach, says that Tyler Van Dyke and the girls have adapted well. I've actually been really impressed with his progress and how much since tryouts that he's improved. Um, I think he's been a great addition to the team. The girls really enjoy having him on there. Tyler has tried something completely different and out of the ordinary this year, something that most guys at Clover wouldn't do. Tyler has advice for those who have thought of cheerleading but don't think it'd be socially accepted. If you're scared of people not accepting it, I say do it because it is something that is not really accepted around in schools right now. So I would say go for it because I mean, you only get this high school experience once and so why not try it out and be the one that, you know, makes a mark at the school. That was one spirited Blue Eagle. Now let's send it over to Ayrton for an interview with our principal. Thanks guys, I'm here with Mr. Hopkins, uh, our principal of schools here at Clover High School, and I have a couple questions for him. Mr. Hopkins, uh, what are your expectations for this year? I expect to have another great year. Um, we had a great year academically last year, um, as far as our performances on, on the tests and everything that, uh, that were judged by. Uh, we had an excellent, excellent report card. We had one of the highest grades in the county for, for a high school. So uh, I think the expectation this year is to continue to build on that. And our focus okay. as a faculty is concentrating on instructional time, that time between yes. the bells and the blocks, making that the most sacred time of the day. And if everybody can concentrate on that, faculty and students, um, you know, I think then uh, that'll pay dividends down the road. All right. Uh, a lot of new appearance changes to the school. Uh, maybe some that aren't very noticeable from outside. You mind telling us about the new changes inside? Certainly. You know, over the last uh, two years, we've undergone a huge renovation here at the high school. Yes. Obviously, last year we had the, the new front, the new office, the new counseling center. Um, uh, this year, as you can see, we're doing some more work out front. We're very excited about the uh, landscaping that's coming. It's been done in the parking lot up next to the building. These areas should be completed in the next several weeks. So I think that'll change the appearance of the school. 
Uh, we're looking to be able to get a nice electronic marquee sign for the front of the building so we'll be able to advertise events and, and really make a good statement for Clover High School when people go by. Um, two things that we're really excited about this year, um, we've added a new program, the dance program. Um, those of you that were at the uh, junior high or Clover Middle, remember Miss Inman, she's come yeah. over to teach that class for us. Uh, so what was the old ag shop is now a dance classroom. The old ROTC room is now in a drama room, so Mr. Addison was able to move from the auditorium into here. Um, the old auto shop down the 500 hall is now the new athletics training center. So Mr. and Mrs. Bressler have moved into that area and it's a, just a state-of-the-art treatment facility for our athletes. So we're very excited about all those changes. Well, that's great. Do uh, you have anything else to add for the students for this upcoming year? No, I just hope everybody will, uh, will do your best when you're in class. Uh, make sure you make good choices when you're around campus. And um, uh, like I said, I expect this year to be even better than next year. All right, Mr. Hopkins. All right, thanks. Go Blue Eagles. Thank you, Blue Eagles. If you have anything you want to see, just stop by Mr. Reed's room in room 614 of the old ATC. Thank you.